welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have a, a special bottle here in my cask. It's called the Shackleton. Well, it's a, the, the content is a replica of an old whiskey which was supplied to the Antarctica expedition, the British Antarctica expedition of 1907. And uh, I had one of these bottles already here in my cask. It was the McKinley's The Journey, it was called. And here I have one of these old bottles on my cask, McKinley's, on the very left hand side. And uh, the Shackleton Expedition said here on the card box uh, this whiskey was supplied to the British Antarctic Expedition of 1907 and this one is a Highland malt whiskey and the original one which was found in the the hut of Shackleton in Antarctica in 2007 they did some investigations there and found below the hut uh, a case where elf, uh, 11 bottles were still intact and two of them were flown to Scotland by the former uh, proprietor of the uh, Wyden Mackay company, one English man, and uh, there uh, Richard Patterson uh, evaluated uh, the samples or took some samples from those uh, bottles, investigated them and created them again with the uh, whiskies, malt whiskies from those old distilleries which were used then by the McKinleys. Uh, the brand name uh, went over to White and McKay. So they have the real heritage of this name. And then he recreated the content with whiskies, also from Glenvore, which is written M H O R, Glenmore. And uh, this distillery is already gone. It was, I think, uh, torn down in 1982 or 1983, and was situated at the canal which runs from uh, Inverness in the east through Loch Ness. Uh, to uh, Ben Nevis or Fort William on the west coast of Scotland uh, through, through this uh, geologic fault where the Loch Ness is in. And there uh, this uh, Glenmore was situated and Glen Elbin as well. And he recreated the whiskey from that distillery. And uh, now the whiskies of those distilleries are gone, definitely. And uh, the bottles, I think, as well, there was a second release called The Journey, uh, which costs around 160. And this bottle here is a full liter bottle for the travel value, so expedition travel. Uh, it just has 40% uh, ABV, and the older ones, or the former ones, had 47 point something. Um, so this is more affordable. So this is 160, and this is only 60 euros, dollars, pounds and uh, only 40% ABV, so it's more affordable, but it's expensive. And they tried, or Richard Patterson tried, to uh, recreate the taste of those old whiskies with new Highland malts. So not the old distilleries, but from new distilleries, they try to recreate the old taste so that everybody is able to taste how those old whiskies tasted. And I have to say, I had both uh, whiskies uh, here in my casks of the old ones and uh, they weren't in the category best whiskey of the month no uh, not at all uh, because in former times everything was worse even the quality of whiskey a lot of people say in former times it was handmade much better and 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 no the average whiskey in former time was worse there had been a lot of more variances in the products. They had no uh, good uh, gorges, uh, equipment. Uh, there was the hygienic uh, situation was bad, uh, and the quality was very variable. There had been very very good ones, 
but the average I think was less than today. Uh, so it was not that easy to create a uh, a matching whiskey with the new ones. So to say it straight. <laughs> Uh, based on the antique blend of McKinley's rare old Highland malt whiskey. 1901 until 1903, Discovery Expedition under Captain Falcon Scott, and 1907 until 1909, Nimrod Expedition to South Pole with the Shackleton. Yeah. Uh, Shackleton ordered 25 cases of McKinley's rare old historic malt whiskey. I have a facsimile print. Of the old letter uh, of this order. Yeah. So here we go. And the bottle is, uh, there's a writing here on the back. Uh, I believe it is our in our nature to explore, to reach out into the unknown. Ernest Shackleton. Let us <laughs> explore into the unknown of the content of this bottle. Martinus. No smoke, or close to no smoke. Mm. Here we go. A little smoke is in it, yes. There's fruitiness from a space site. Space site is located inside the highlands. Um, so this smells a little bit like a space cider, a little smokiness in it, not too much, say 10 ppm, maximum 12. Fruitiness and some vanilla, some caramel shining through. Unfortunately, this bottle is colored, so we can't tell uh, how deep the wood maturation has succeeded. The oak is not smellable, no. Mm -hmm. In the start it's just 40% and then intensity builds up. Some mouth-watering appears, so there is some oakiness sh shining through. The smoking is still not too strong, probably a little more in the moment. And some silkiness in the aftertaste, yeah. But oakiness growing and growing. Spiciness coming through. <clears throat> if I remember right, then this one is a little bit more pleasant <laughs> to my tongue than the old one, which was directly created after the original samples. Mm. A little weak and silky in the first taste and then developing in the aftertaste. This is a not too bad, not too good uh, whiskey and this is really a good present to, well, people who are not that close to whiskey but close to expeditions, close to traveling, uh, probably travel to Antarctica. So you can give a present look here like the whiskey they found in Antarctica. So this is more of the intention of this whiskey and um, uh, some amount of this uh, selling price is handed over to the Antarctic Heritage Trust of New Zealand. Uh, so you're doing a, a good work buying this whiskey. I have no idea how much it is or uh, hopefully more than a pound. Yeah, probably. 60 euros dollars pounds as a selling price uh, there should be one pound or even a little bit more available to that trust 
Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come as always.